So what's going on traders? Hope you all had a green day today. Um, I tried to get some shorts today on NBRV at 6 in the morning and my broker did not have them. So I called them and yeah, they didn't have the shorts. I was shocked. And then my account got messed up. So no trades for me today, but uh, the calls that I had from yesterday's video or spot on to a T. So today I want to talk about uh, the same pattern to bank off tomorrow. So let's get into it. All right. So we are looking at Yuma. This is a crazy stock. Talked about the stock yesterday. And yeah. I talked about if it could retest the 485 is like to short it, but I never did that. But as in the title, here's what I want to talk about. Same pattern as I want to bake off tomorrow. What does that mean? That means these same patterns are repeating themselves. It's kind of like the way that we trade. You know? Um, I love patterns. That's between patterns and gaps. That's what I live for. So, we'll study this right here. So after afternoon, this stock rips, right? Finds resistance at 645, and then towards the end of the day, it just gets crushed. And the next day, this is what I'm looking at. So it gaps up, pulls down right here, this initial spike. And after this initial spike gets rejected, what I mean by rejected is right here. If you go to pre-market, so high pre-market is right here. This is the highest pre-market. Um, so right here, that's the high pre-market. Gets rejected, gets crushed, and continues on down. So what am I looking at for tomorrow? Why did I make that video title? Well, let me show you. Switch this. I'll show you in a second. C-E-T-X. Why am I bringing these two up? Okay, I get it. Right in the morning, these are definitely not the same pattern. Totally agree. But well, what is the same is this afternoon. Right up here. Afternoon, what happens? Same thing. Gets smoked. Finds resistance. <clears throat> it's crazy about this stock. If you would all right here, look at this resistance. Last time this stock spiked up, right here on this day, 7 11. It spiked up, actually gapped up, same as today, gapped up, gapped up. Got too high of 320. Close week at the lows. What did it close at? 238. What happened today? Gapped up. Same patterns right here. So gapped up this morning. And let's see here. So we'll just go with um, I have 320. Alright. So I got it right here. It don't matter. 318, 320. So this is what I like. Same resistance. 3 320. What happens to it? Pops above 320. At first, it holds that support right here. Breaks below 320. That's a sign of a weakness. Hold support, consolidating right here. Breaks below 320. Comes back up, retest. Now you only got high of 327. This high is 330. So you're making lower highs. And then it gets crushed. All right. So, what I'm simply trying to tell you in this video 
is what what am I expecting for tomorrow? This is what I'm expecting for tomorrow on this stock, CETX. Get rid of this. So, what am I expecting tomorrow? Same thing that happened today, except right here, this spike, right? I want to see a gap up on this stock, a gap up, and I want to see it come down, make some support, and then it open. I want to see a rally to the pre-market high, and then I want to see how it reacts. If this doesn't play out the way that I want it to, um, I probably won't short it. But right at the open, it doesn't even have to gap up, but I want to see it at the open. I want to see a quick spike on the stock. And then I will short it. Because what I'm expecting is this same exact pattern right here to happen to this stock tomorrow. And where do I expect the stock to go? Once it gets, once it spikes, I expect the stock to fill this gap at 152. That's going to be my target. So, this is this is one of my plays tomorrow. I didn't really see up else. I didn't see really much more. And then my other play will be on this MNK. This is another good play that happens a lot. Um, so you see this? This is the one minute candle. Right here, shoots up. And no support, no support, no support, no support, no support, no support. So there's really no support through this whole move. And then it finally finds the top at 544. But if you look at this, this is just straight up. So once you break support, where does it go? Down. So this is another good play. You see this quite often. Um, I don't know if there's really a history at this stock, but I don't want to make this video too long. Yeah. There's a gap to fill in the 1276s, but will we get there? I don't know. We'll have to see. So, short and sweet tomorrow, this is CETX. What I'm looking for is a gap up or a quick spike in the morning. Gets rejected, gets short, I want to cover at 152. So that's my trade, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Until tomorrow, peace out.